Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN, and I would like to officially welcome you to episode 216 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. So we're going to jump right into today's topic, and this one actually came to me from one of my (laughs) friends. His name is Darren. And Darren is really an interesting guy because, you know, he always comes up with the most interesting nonsense that I've ever heard of. I'm always telling folks, you know, the stuff that people tell me, ask me, share with me, you can't flip me make this stuff up. So Darren shot me a message on textbook and he said, Angela Jones, what do you think of this? And this is what it was that he shot me. He shot me an article on supplements that'll make your vagina taste semi-fruity. And of course, I saw this and I flipping rolled on the floor. For those of you that don't know me, I do tend to have a flair for the dramatic. I think that it's probably just a function of who I am. You know, I come from a very expressive family and I just know a lot of queens and I'm not speaking like Queen Elizabeth kind of thing, but like queens, you know, who tend to have a flair for the dramatic. But anyway, I saw this and it was so funny to me. And of course, then it made me think of, you know, the recent show that I saw on Netflix of Dave Chappelle, who was also talking about vaginas except for he didn't call them vaginas. And, you know, he said, oh my gosh, you know, vaginas like an acquired taste. I don't know anyone that goes around saying they love the way vagina tastes. It's an acquired taste. And I was just like, what? Why are we always, you know, putting women's private parts in the news? I mean, who goes around talking about, number one, how penises look, but how they smell? And then talk about, you know, how spunk tastes, get the fuck out of here with that. I mean, that's disgusting. But anyway, I'm not just saying that because I happen to be gay. But I saw this thing on supplements to make your vagina taste semi-fruity. And I thought, shut up. You know, this is what's wrong with women's self-esteem to begin with. You know, we're always being sort of you know, pushed into thinking that our bodies are supposed to be more than than they are. I mean, our bodies are amazing. And, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about folks printing stuff in news talking about your vagina needs to taste like, you know, what are some of these flavors that I saw? Pineapple extract, um, banana, blueberry, magic berry, you know, just bullshit. I mean, I don't want my vagina tasting like a smoothie, you know, or like some tropical fruit. If you don't like the way my vagina tastes, don't eat it. Don't smell it. Don't taste it. It's your problem. But I hate that women are oftentimes so conditioned to, you know, think that their bodies have to perform and be what everyone else wants their bodies to be. Women should be embracing their bodies and their function. You know, I'd like to know, (laughs) <laughs> and I'm probably going to get, like, nailed for this. But, I mean, vaginas are like superheroes. I mean, what part of a male's body can you say is, like, a superhero? What part of a male's body even comes close to doing what vaginas do or what uteruses do? Exactly. Crickets chirping. Can you hear them chirping in the background? So, you know, your vagina is fine just the way that it is. And just like with anything... You know, you are a function of what you eat. So if you're eating right, you know, you're letting your your girlfriend breathe. I oftentimes refer to my vagina as my girlfriend. And I, you know, 
when I talk to my patients, we call our vaginas or girlfriends. But if you're letting your girlfriend breathe and be free, then, you know, your vagina is going to look, taste, smell exactly the way that it's supposed to, which is fine. So just remember that and keep that in mind. And don't go out and start buying these ridiculous supplements or, you know, start, you know, doing ridiculous things with your vagina because you think that it's supposed to smell or taste a certain way. That was fun. I'm always amazed at what you all say to me, send to me, share with me. Keep them coming. Hilarious. Thank you so much for tuning into today's podcast. Remember, if you happen to have a topic or concern or you just want to share something, do it at www.askdrangela.com. That's A-S-K-D-R-A-N-G-E-L-A.com. You can email me your questions or you can direct message me on any of my social media outlets. Please also make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our video clips are hilarious and we are having so much fun doing those. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already done so. And please also sign up for our weekly blog. It's just all good, ladies and gentlemen, because we know that we've got a lot of male followers as well. In closing, I'd like to leave you with a quote from one of my favorite books of inspiration for women. It's called She Went Out on a Limb by Sandy Gingras. It says, remember, life is full of gifts. Be thankful. Gratitude is everything. Remember that. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Looking forward to reconnecting on episode 217. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional.